Hey, what's up everyone? Chip Walters here. want to talk about uh, Flowify. Uh, I noticed that my last uh, Flowify tutorial was very complex. I kind of just want to go over the basics real quick. So uh, let's do that real quick. So let's start off. We're going to create a we create a cube. This is kind of a neat uh, I'm trying to create a cube about the center point uh, real quickly. I can do that uh, by uh, just hitting the scale button here and then this will snap to 200% right there. The bottom right you'll see is 1.5 two there he is so uh, and then I'll push pull that up something like a cube okay I'll select all this stuff and I'm gonna go into a fillet and I'm gonna use uh, this 20 20 and 9 that looks pretty good okay and then turn on my high vertices and uh, I'm gonna basically uh, quickly knock out a boolean on this uh, again using uh, let's group this I'll quickly knock out a little area that we want to flow fight into so oops rectangle there take this again use the same scale trick uh, oops and we'll drag it down it snaps into place push pull it out Push pull it. Oops. Okay. And let's group this. And um, let's go into. Uh, I'm going to use this mode. Get rid of the shadow. So we have our two groups. We're going to boolean. I'm using bool tools from. What W H A T T W H A A T Dale Martins? Uh, it's a great, great tool. I gotta say, it's way better than the uh, SketchUp Boolean tools. So I'm gonna go here, and, and plus it works with. You can buy it. For, I don't know, 15 bucks or something, and it works with Make. So it's a, it's a great idea. Actually, yeah. Uh, take this and push pull this about into the middle here. There, there we go. Okay, so go in here, hit the select. Uh, we, uh, we, it's kind of the opposite direction. First, select the one that you want to keep. Uh, actually, we, and this is this is a difference, but that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to do this merge, this merge one right here, which is this one. Select one. Doesn't really matter what order you put these in. And now that I've got that done, I can take this and delete this. And this is the face that I'm going to wrap something around. And so, uh, uh, in Flowify, we need to make sure that we're using uh, quads. So if I, if I hide this, you'll see that we do have all quads on that face. So I'm going to go in here and select this, select this, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to come back out and I'm going to take this area and I'm going to just hide this. And I'm going to paste this and I'm going to group it. Uh, before I group it, I'm going to say uh, under tools unwrap and flatten face so I want to do this so here's our face this is the actual same same face I turn on the hide you'll see that we have the same kind of geometry going on here that's important uh, because the distortion is gonna if, if I don't have this lined up exactly right I'm gonna get distorted uh, distorted around here I might be able to show you that in a second so let's let's uh, take this and rotate it out here like so and uh, okay and we'll turn off the hidden lines so <clears throat> I'm gonna hide this too for now so now we have this group that group and this group and what we want to do is want to basically say how we're we gonna map this one on on, on the other so uh, if I look we'll see that we have those same those same lines in there and everything so I'm going to pick one more group. And I'm going to say this line is going to map to that point here. And this line is going to map to that point here. And I'm going to take these. And I'm going to group these. Okay, so now I've got three groups. So I've got this group, this group, and this group. So I'm going to one, two, and three. So you'll see that uh, in my outliner, here they are <clears throat> and so let's make those a group and let's call that 
flow of five group here and I'm going to take and I'm going to grab this I'm going to make one polygon here no it doesn't matter we'll, we'll just flip it okay so let's do it again uh, hide uh, oh. um, so let's go ahead and now go into extensions flowify impose grid and you'll see that we we put this grid on here now the reason why this is important is that I'm going to very quickly now that I've got this let's go ahead and build something to to wrap around here I'm going to take this push pull this and uh, just a little bit uh, there you go you can get the group right okay group it uh, then let's go in and let's draw a quick circle here outside the group and I'm going to push pull this down just a little bit so we can see what's going on take this and I'm going to make I'm going to group it and I'm going to move a copy of it over to here and then I'm going to divide that by what six yeah let's leave it like that okay so let's take each one of these and let's group those and this is nice again uh, bull tools will handle this nicely I'll go into subtract mode right here and click on what I want to keep click on one of subtract wait for a second and it did a really nice job as you can see so now this is a group so if I select this group the way flow flowify works select the first group that you want to flow fly select it to the select the second one shift key go on extensions and say flowify now this is a good example of what happens so notice that we have one two three four five we have one two three four five six we have all six up here but they're all distorted so uh, that's obviously a problem uh, you can see that it, it, it did map them correctly on it in the sense that it's, it's all moving out so I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna come back now and now I'm gonna take and I use that original flattened group number so, so remember if we look at this one I'm gonna uh, let's rename this this is our uh, our, tar our target our template okay and I hide that and then so this is this was the original one. so I'm gonna take this one at one poly one cut it and then I'll take our flattened one I'm sorry our uh, yeah and I'll unhide this and take this cut it and let's put it in the flowify group okay so now if I look at this we've got those lines in there that we talked about let's uh, there we are you can see the lines so uh, now I'm gonna go back out turn my template back on and now we'll select this and we'll select this and now we're gonna say flowify and now you see it's perfect so uh, you know worked really well so so the key there a couple things to know one is that the originating file which is uh, let's see uh, this inside that inside that inside this 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 uh, needs to be quads so So if you notice, there's all quads in there, and it's important we use that tool called Unwrap and Flatten Faces. Uh, that's the tool that gets us to unwrap this thing and put it down here, right? So that's that's the key, and that's gonna that's gonna map perfectly on there when you do that. So uh, so that's one thing. The second thing to remember is that all these things need to be grouped. There's a group for, there's a group for this part, a group for the, the lines, and a group for this uh, the the uh, the flattened uh, uh, area to be flowified. So, and then lastly, this this group right here, you build on top of that other plane, and then you can basically you select this first, and then shift select that, and go to extensions and say flowify. Hey, real quick, I noticed that uh, 
this uh, when flow if I did this it singled this out so if I go in here and look the, the, the geometry is in there I just need to basically get this face if I select it I'll see that it doesn't really do anything so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna select this curve and I'm gonna say intersect faces with selection and then I go in here and I delete it and Bob's your ankle so there you go oops let's go ahead oh, that's, that's the old one right so okay good and that's how it works so i hope this is helpful uh it's a very quick example of how things work uh but again it's not uh, uh not a lot of details but i, I kind of want to go over this because uh it's been difficult to find this kind of information for me at least uh so hope this helps you too thanks a lot